On today's adventure, we're diving the Great Barrier Reef. But in usual fashion, not everything goes to plan. This is ridiculous. I'm, I'm sorry, but like, I'm going to be freezing my off. But how cold could it really be? So it begs the question, is diving the Great Barrier Reef in winter even worth it? Good morning and welcome to the gateway to the Great Barrier Reef. We're here at Marlin Wharf ready for a amazing day. Today we are going with Ocean Freedom on a dive boat. It's a big luxury dive boat and you know the most exciting part is they have lots and lots of food. I think that's why I picked it but we get to do two dives today so I'm super 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 excited to see what all the Great Barrier Reef has to offer. After some paperwork and breakfast, we set off for the hour-long ride to the edge of the Great Barrier Reef. All right, so we've been on the water for a little while now, making our way out to the Great Barrier Reef. We just got our dive briefing for our first of two dives today. The water temperature is the coldest it has ever been, for us at least, about 72 degrees Fahrenheit. And on this boat, they only give out shorty wetsuits. And for context, a shorty is diver slang for wetsuits without full body coverage. And they're not recommended for temperatures below 75 degrees. So it's gonna be quite cold for people that don't have a full wetsuit. And I know one of those people. This is ridiculous, I'm, I'm sorry, but like I'm gonna be freezing my off. I got two wetsuits on today. I got a long sleeve from a friend on the boat, so... All right, they're yelling at the good. certified divers. We gotta get ready to get in the water. And if it was cold for me, you can imagine how cold Ellie was when she hit the water. It is cold. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. While cold for us, it's the perfect temperature for beautiful soft corals and an abundance of life that the Great Barrier Reef is known for. It was definitely living up to its hype for us. Diving the Great Barrier Reef is on every diver's bucket list and finally being here after a month traveling Australia made it even more special. On the reef here, you can find over 1,500 individual species of fish, all unique, colorful, and genuinely special. I am so cool, that was so hard. 
so we just got out from our first dive and as Ellie said, it was really cold. I'm wearing technically eight millimeters on my chest and then a 3-2 on my arms and Ellie just has a five millimeter shorty and it yeah. was very cold. It's definitely worth it though. Those were some of the biggest fish I have ever seen. <laughs> and these soft corals here are gorgeous and abundant, just blowing in the sea breeze. And that cold water really does its number on the reef. It is thriving here. Yeah, it was absolutely beautiful. Saw a big clam. We saw several giant clams, yeah. Saw an anemone fish. An anemone fish. An anemone fish. An anemone fish. Okay, okay, don't hurt yourself. I don't think that I got any video of a true clownfish. There are many other anemone fish that live there that look like clownfish, and we saw some beautiful ones, but we're still searching for Nemo, maybe on our second dive. But I'm gonna get Ellie some warm tea to warm up. <laughs> Not much later, it was already time to get geared up for our second dive. I'm not ready. You still have purple lips. I know, it's just truthfully cold. I don't well, you're gonna see the fishies. I don't want to do it anymore. For our second dive, we're gonna be taking a little dinghy, a little boat, out to a different part of the reef to see if we can see something a little bit different. But it's time for us to head out there. Come on. We can do it. Oh, <laughs> she took off. I left my wetsuit on because I don't, I don't want to deal with that whole business. <laughs> I'll, I'll save her some face. We'll see you on the boat. Going underwater is one of our favorite ways to experience new places. I can't help but to think of just how amazing the ocean is, and that this reef is her crowning jewel, stretching 1,500 miles down the Australian coast. Diving also shows us firsthand the amazing sea life that many are working hard to preserve for the future in today's age of global warming. getting a little too close he said goodbye and on this dive there was still so much beautiful soft coral in so many different colors once ellie was out of air and we sent her back up to the boat i got to see a really cool coral nursery which is a super awesome thing to see here on the great barrier reef as they continue to research how to regrow some of the coral that is dying here on the reef yeah and let's not forget about the little nemos we finally <laughs> saw we saw a true clownfish and he was just a little baby boy, there were just two of them, not dark. 
turning in and out of their anemone hiding spots. Yeah, super cool dive though. Definitely Australia has blown me away with the huge amount of fish and how big they are. Just, they're, <laughs> they're massive. The fish are simply just massive. We came up from the dive to this beautiful place behind me where you can see the Great Barrier Reef almost as far as your eye can see all the way back to the land out there. And we had some delicious lunch. I really picked this dive boat because of the food and it did not disappoint. That was great. Most dive boats only serve small sandwiches, but we were on a large tour boat, which had its advantages like the food offered. The roof deck was also a great place to hang out after a long day of diving. However, it still had some issues. It was insanely crowded with the snorkelers at the back of the boat, and on the ride home, many people got seasick. The Australian afternoons are rough on the water, but we enjoyed the food the whole ride. Would you like to do a try? Before we knew it, we were back at the harbor for our special Australian send-off. Thanks for the food. <laughs> you did? Yeah. Five stars for food, five stars for service, one minus zero stars what? for wet soup. <laughs> <laughs> this was the perfect way to end our amazing Australian road trip. Such an incredible day, incredible bow, and incredible food. Why can't I stop talking about food? <laughs> <laughs> and it's just crazy that our last thing we did was finally get in the water after driving so much of the coast. And if you want to see some of those other videos, please hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps us out. We have so much more planned coming up so soon. We have two days of relaxing after this crazy, crazy trip. And then... Heading to Bali. Let's go! <laughs> so, so we'll, we'll see, see you next time on, on today's, today's adventure. adventure. Bye! Bye.